Namaste. So, looking at Lakshmi Tantra, chapter 20, she again reiterates her absolute position. The separation into Lakshmi and Narayan, although it's the beginning of duality, the distinction of the subject and object in perception, still, they are both Brahman. They are both absolute, incorruptible, eternal, pure, all-powerful, all-pervading, and so on and so on. But because there is the beginning of duality, there is also now time, space, dimension, movement, change, transformation, doer, and object, and action. You see, all these dualities and triples, trinities, come into existence as well. So she is the I-hood, the egoity of Hari, Narayana. But he is the existence, the beingness, you see. The being and the state of being now have become separate. And so she again reiterates her position so that we don't think of her as some ordinary goddess. No, no, she is the Saguna Brahman, the absolute with form and qualities. So even though on that level the form is very abstract, it is still a form. And we can realize that form when we meditate on her names with the mantras that she is in the process of giving us. Right now, we're at the beginning stage of the matrika. Now, we did a whole series on matrika, but this goes deeper, and you'll see in the upcoming chapters how she gives detailed descriptions of the meaning of each letter in the matrika. Of course, matrika is the root of our English word matrix, which is very interesting. You have the Sanskrit matri, the root, which means mother, and the Latin ix, which is a feminine uh, third declension ending. And so that the two come together to mean the matrix or the root or the origin of the whole world. And it's really an, uh, an interesting thing that amongst the letters, the vowel I is called Jagat Yoni. Jagat Yoni means the womb of the whole world. So this is her nature. She is the womb within everything that we call the world takes birth. It becomes form. And in the beginning, that form is very subtle. It's called Nada. Nada means Shabda Brahman, spiritual sound, without any specific meaning, it's just an impulse. And then there's Pashyanti, where that form begins to acquire some definition. And Madhyama, where the form becomes quite distinct, but the meaning is still not clear. And then there's finally the fourth stage, where the meaning becomes obvious, and this is the stage of speech and literature and so on. So these four stages, these are not just academic things. Huh? These are phenomena that we can observe in our own life. For example, when we go to speak, we can feel, if we observe carefully, the energy begins in the lower chakras as just an impulse. And then as it rises through the chakras, it becomes more and more defined and explicit until at last the meaning is clear and it issues out as speech. But 
When we chant mantras, the reverse happens. We start with the vaikari, the immediately perceptible sound, like Aum. But then by chanting again and again, gradually we lose the audible speech and the mantra becomes hidden in the heart in the madhyama stage of speech. And then we don't think of it so much as having a specific meaning. It has more of a feeling. And then further chanting. For example, if we try to chant a mantra through the period of sleep, it's very interesting what happens. If we go to, go to sleep chanting the mantra, our dreams will be transformed. And then in the morning when we first wake up, first thing that comes to mind will be the mantra. This is how we chant 24 hours a day and it's highly, highly recommended and advised to learn to chant this way so that one can have spiritual sound, Shabda Brahman, in every aspect of life. It's so liberating. I mean, I can't even begin to describe the benefits that I've experienced. So one thing I want to make note of before we go on with the matrika is the pronunciation of Aum. Aum is three transcendental letters, and she will describe this in detail in the upcoming chapters, but I just want to begin to give the ideas here. A, U, and M. And then there's the Bindu, the nasal dot. So there are actually four, A, U, M, and Bindu. Now, if we go back to our series on the Lalita Sahasranam, it describes the meaning of Bindu as a dimensionless point. In other words, Brahman, where all the creation is merged into the pre-existing state of absolute stillness and peace. So then, she goes on, and also in the Upanishads, it's described that each of the three letters, A, U, and M, are held for one full matra, or beat. See, the matrika is composed of matras. One matra is two padas. So the difference between A and A is one pada, a is one pada, and a is two padas, or one matra. So in Om, each letter has one matra, a, u, m, and then the bindu has half a matra, one pada. So it's like a, u, m, m, and it becomes more and more nasal. Mm, huh? I don't know if you can hear that. It's pretty subtle. And it's easy to hear from inside your own head, though. It's like the sound moves up your nose and it becomes more and more nasal sounding as it goes. And finally, it merges into the third eye in complete silence. And the ah represents creation. The oo represents sustenance. And the mm represents destruction of the whole universe. And finally then the bindu, the nasal sound at the end, should be like a moment of silence, a moment of stillness. The mind and breath should stop. For example, if you're chanting, Aum, the breath should stop on the bindu. And also the mind should stop and there should be no thoughts during that half matra or pada. So this is the way to chant Aum. There's that pause where everything stops. And this is very important. This is the real meaning of Aum. That 
This is the absolute. And when we are in the creation, we want to chant Aum externally, huh? loud. But as we chant more and more and we get better and better at it, it becomes more and more indistinct until it becomes just an impulse. The Vaikari merges into the Madhyama, which merges into the Pashanti, which finally merges into Nada. And when that happens, our chanting merges with the universal sound current, and we attain the realization of Aum. So this Matrika is not just a theoretical thing. It's not just an academic thing. Oh, these are the word, the letters that we put together to make this language. No, it's far more than that. As she describes in chapter 20, each of the letters represents a god and goddess, uh, a deity and his consort. And then she goes on to list some of them. And just hearing this and just chanting it is very elevating very good sadhana in itself. But also, this is meant to be applied. The matrika is chanted as part of the matrika nyasa, uh, which is one of the very most powerful chants in all of the Vedic literature. We've already done a video uh, as uh, part of the mystery of the matrika series on the matrika nyasa, here, and I'd like to play a couple of excerpts from it so you can see how the letters of the matrika are used in actual sadhana. Ata Durga Matrika Nyasaha Asya Sri Maha Durga Matrika Maha Mantrasya Brahma Rishihi Gayatri Chandaha Shri Mahadurga Svarupini Matrika Saraswati Devata Ram Bijam Hring Shati Hurum Kilakam Mahadurga Prasad Siddhyarte Mahadurga Matrika Nyase Vini Yogaha Ang Ang Ying Ying Ong Ong Ring Ring Ling Ling Ang Ang Ong Ang Ang Aha Kang Kang Gang Gang Yang Chang Chang Jang Jang Yang Hang Tang Dang Dang Nang Tang Tang Dang Dang Nang Hang Pang Bang Hang Mang Yang Rang Lang Wang Shang Shang Sang Hang Lang Shang Ring Shring Ang Kang Kang Gang Gang Nang Ang Hang Gusta Bhyang Namaha Ring Shring Ying Chang Chang Jang Jang Yang Ying Tarjani Bhyang Namaha Ring Shring Um Tang Tang Dang Dang Nang Um Madhyama Bhyang Namaha Ring Shring Ang Tang Tang Dang Dang Nang Ain Anabhika Bhyang Namaha Ring Shring Aum Pang Pang Bang Bang Mang Aum Kanishtika Bhyang Namaha Ring Shring Aum Yang Rang Lang Vang Shang Shang Sang Hang Kang Shang Aha Karatala Karatishtya Bhyang Namaha Ring Shring Aum Kang Kang Gang Gang Nang Aum Pridayaya Namaha Shring Shring Ying Chang Chang Jang Jang Yang Ying Shirase Swaha Ring Shring Ung Tang Tang Dang Dang Nang Ung Shikayai Vyashata Ring Shring Ing Tang Tang Dang Dang Nang Aing Kavachaya Hung Ring Shring Ong Pam Pam Bam Bam Mam Aung Nitratrayaya Vaushata Ring Shring Ang Yang Rang Lang Vang Shang Shang Sang Hang Lang Shang Aha Astraya Pata Bhur Bhuva Suvaro Miti Dig Bang Daha Aum Tatsa Aum Shakti Aum 